power of movement is generated in the hindquarters. The bulk of the dog's body weight is carried by the front legs. The hams are strong with well-developed muscles. Proper hindquarters provide not only speed and energy, but agility in jumping and other functions. This boxer has powerful hindquarters in balance with his front. This dog is well made. His front and rear are in balance, but he lacks substance and spring of rib. His hindquarters should be more substantial, showing greater muscle mass. This boxer is straight behind. While this powerfully built, attractive boxer has just a bit too much rear angulation, as set up here. This bitch shows the desired combination of balance, angulation, substance, and muscle mass. Gait. Viewed from the side, proper front and rear angulation is manifested in a smoothly efficient, level-backed, ground-covering stride with powerful drive emanating from a freely operating rear. Although the front legs do not contribute impelling power, adequate reach should be evident to prevent interference, overlap, or sidewinding, crabbing. Viewed from the front, the shoulders should remain trim and the elbows not flare out. The legs are parallel until gating narrows the track in proportion to increasing speed. Then the legs come in under the body but should never cross. The line from the shoulder down through the leg should remain straight, although not necessarily perpendicular to the ground. Viewed from the rear, a boxer's breech should not roll. The hind feet should dig in and track relatively true with the front. Again, as speed increases, the normally broad rear track will become narrower. Boxers should move smoothly with a level, firm top line. They should cover ground easily without wasteful up and down motion. Good reach and drive are necessities for proper gait. This is judged from a side view of the dog.